Hey, I'm Alan. This is my shoulder bicycle. It's built on a Nazca Pioneer recumbent from Holland frame. Um, I built the bike, I built the wheels, and then I built this structure which supports the panel. And it can tilt for charging when you're stationary. So it pivots here and has a strut to hold it at different angles. Um, so we've got a cycle analyst for the control. We've got a triangle battery here in a case that I built. And then a GMAC motor at the back. And that's um, the fast winding? Or the slow that's winding? the slow winding because okay, I'm running 52 volts. Right. So oh, that's I right. get the speed from the voltage. And then I've got the, the same MPPT we all seem to have, the, the LAJOY unit. Yeah. Um, with two rigid carbon fiber backed um, panels from Lightleaf in Canada. So 300 watts of total generation. Nice. And that's how it maintains its curve. Yeah. It's, it's molded this way like in an oven. And so that gives it extra, extra strength to have that curve shape. And it means I need less supporting structure. There's no backing because yeah, it, it holds itself up. Yeah, you only screwed it in like four or six Each spots. Each one's got four spots, yeah. That's crazy. And Normally so they they'd out, be flopping like crazy. They hang out the back and um, support themselves. Nice, that was actually a nice, efficient rundown. <laughs> and you machined these? I machined all the brackets, all this stuff on a, on a manual mill and a hole saw. And you told me you went in and you did the element analysis first before you did the rack. Yeah, I did a finite element analysis for the structure to be as rigid as possible, to not sway or shake on the road under bumps. So you didn't do it so much for strength, you just did it for rigidity? For stiffness. I, I knew it would be strong enough because I'd done strength calculations also. It okay. wasn't going to break. It was just flexing. If it flexes on a bump or flexes in the wind, yep. it can be a control hazard. Yeah, and over time, if it's aluminum, it would work it itself would tend to, It would tend yeah. to fatigue. Yep. Yeah, Definitely. so better things aren't flexing around on you. Definitely. Uh, so that was a fun little uh, analysis project, you could say, learning a new program. Yeah. Uh, and it feels really, when it's all bolted together, it's flat, it feels really rigid and doesn't sway or shake at all. On a and you've got full suspension, and it goes almost 40 miles an hour. Indeed. <laughs> so but this not, thing is really fast. Not under actually. solar only, though. This thing is really quick. Any torque sensor, all, it's got yeah. the works. Awesome, thanks. Mm -hmm.